Good evening and welcome back to another episode of What's Your Story? Tonight we are sitting down with our good friend, Ruth Fernandes. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you for being here <laughs> at the Graves My Library. Pleasure. Um, and speaking of being at the Graves Library, how long have you been volunteering at the Graves Library? A wicked long time. <laughs> <laughs> So when I started working here, um, you were helping out upstairs. You're still helping out upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, you worked with Barbara Venel. Yes. Uh, Linda Bryan. Yes. All the greats up there. Yes. So um, I was here actually before Linda Wade was here. Oh, yes. Wow. So you must have been, what, like 15 at the time when you were here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so where did you grow up, Ruth? New Jersey. You did. Okay. And um, what brought you to what brought you to Kennebunkport from New Jersey? Well, um, basically because uh, my husband was in the Navy at the shipyard, mm -hmm. and so we spent two years living in York, and then then we did some. He had to do more studying and stuff and so we um then it was time to decide well where is he going to set up his practice and mm -hmm. uh we decided this is a pretty nice place and he looked around york to see what was available and then he got this offer in biddeford so wow here we are yeah and he was he practiced with southern maine for quite a while yes yeah yep. um and did have you always lived on um, on the road you in the house that you live in? We lived on North Street oh, across okay. from the Adams's farm. Yeah. This cute little house. And then the family started expanding and so yes. we had to get something bigger. Yes. Yep. And speaking of that, how many? We how have many? five. Five, five kids. kids and how many grands? Four. Four. Okay. Um, and they're all kind of scattered around the country, right? Well, I've, yes, that? my kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Oregon, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Massachusetts, and one in Kenny Bunk. Oh, so. well, that's good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is, because there's two grandkids there. So they come home as much as they can. I know that, like, summertime is probably a fun, fun time for them to be um, coming home to visit. And you also have a special place that you all go when you can um on martha's vineyard yep yeah and i've had the um pleasure of staying out there a few times it's such a beautiful yes. island out there so and your kids went to consolidated school and the, all the whole through. school system i can't say it, it was a wonderful school system mm -hmm. to go through mm -hmm. And you did a lot of volunteering um, through um, the school and the high school. Did you do some um, some work there? I think I can and remember when I first started working yeah. here, you were doing some of the parenting, um, like getting the annual par a parenting conference and different things there like that. There was a group called DART. DART, that's De it. Developing Assets and Relationships Together. Mm -hmm. And it involved parents and teachers and kids. It was a wonderful group and... I don't think it's still yeah. there now, but I did that yeah. for a while. That was that was a great way to get to know the teachers and mm -hmm. know some of the kids and stuff. Yep. And and community members. I mean, like the chief of police from Kennebunk, who's the chief now, he was on it. Yep. I think there might have been somebody from the port, too, that was on it. Mm -hmm. And, and um, at around that time, I was on the Youth Services Commission, too, and... I helped the nurse at the high school yep. one day a week. Oh, I volunteered with her. Um, did you also volunteer at Southern Maine Healthcare? Did you do no. that there? You did. Nope. You just yeah, that, that was that, that was, was his. Bob's thing. Yes, and, yes. <laughs> and your community was your thing. Yes. So, yes. Um, and I know that you are a potter. I am. So, and I have many pieces at my house. <laughs> if I look, if I turn something upside down, I know it's a Ruth Fernandes. <laughs> So, um, and when something breaks, it's like, oh, it's a, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you know you can always get another one. I know, yeah. I know I can. <laughs> but there's been some really special pieces. So how often do you do, how often do you do your pottery? Um, 
Not as often often as I yeah. used to. I used to um, sell stuff at Christmas time at Prelude mm-hmm. at the community house, and then also up at Portland Pottery, and um, so that. I produced a lot more for yeah. that, and yeah. now I'm just doing the one up at Portland Pottery. Yeah, so, so. they have um, like classes up there that you can they take, do. and they have wonderful classes, and they have a Zoom class. So I've oh. like over COVID, I did mm-hmm. the Zoom class, which was great. So you were just sitting in your house with your wheel and off. Yes. Wow. Yep. yep. It that. was a, no, didn't have to travel, and so it was pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, and now you are, um, in addition to volunteering at the Graves Library, you're also um, on the cemetery committee here in town. So Mm -hmm. can you tell us what that entails? Because you've been doing that for for a while. Yeah, I had had, uh, seen a cemetery cleaning sign out, you know, for the Arundel Cemetery, and so... um, Rita Schlegel was on the cemetery committee. She said, oh, no, no, that's, that's not the cemetery committee that we work on. <laughs> so there's two cemetery committees in town. Mm-hmm. There's the Arundel Cemetery, and then there's the cemetery committee I'm on that deals with all the other 70-odd cemeteries in town. Mm-hmm. And so I said, oh, you know, I'd be happy to help you, you know, clean up cemeteries and stuff like that. Great, you know, and then I get doing that, and then they say, oh, you want to be on the committee? It's like... Well, okay. <laughs> and then the person who was the president said, "Well, you know, I really can't be the or chair. You know, <laughs> I, you know, my kids, blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, uh, so we need a new chair. And everybody else had already done their stint as chair. So <laughs> I was like, I became chair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's like it, which means nothing because we're all yeah on an equal basis, and everybody uh, supplies different." pieces of interest to mm-hmm. the committee yeah. yeah so you go around and you you clean maintenance scrub all that kind of stuff um no not so much it's more um we keep the records yeah clary nickerson who was a woman who lived a number of years ago uh, did all this research on the cemeteries in town. Mm-hmm. She interviewed families. She talked to neighbors. It, it was an amazing work of love that mm-hmm. she put together. And what she, uh, the folder that she has everything in is at the Historical Society. Yep. And she made a map of where all those cemeteries were. And so that's kind of our Bible. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, some of these cemeteries that she said, oh, well, this is, um, this is, you know, next to the yellow house on uh, <laughs> Lester Wilds Road. Well, Lester Wilds Road is now called Arundel Road. <laughs> the yellow house is painted a different color, you know. So, so we have to just update things. Mm-hmm. And then there's a number of cemeteries that... Um, we still have to find yep. that she has mentioned, but we haven't oh, from still the descriptions. Looking. We haven't been wow. able to find them, and just you know. And then people call up and say, "Oh, you know, um, do you know where this cemetery is?" Or my uncle has this, you know. Yeah. And you know, we keep track of the veterans and stuff yeah. like that. We get a lot of questions here throughout the year, and there, you know, we have the Arundel Cemetery. We have a an index. Um, and we keep it here in our reference section. So yes. we've got yes. we've got that list. So if people come in, but that's you know we know that one, and sometimes it's helpful, and then we can tell people you know where where to go. But for the ones, the small ones that are all around town that that you all take care of, um, that you know some people will say I think it was on X Street, and it's like I have no idea. Let me call Ruth, and I'll get back to you. Yes. yes. So what a or wonderful... that one time when somebody came in and asked you a question, I happened to be upstairs. That's right. That was wonderful. That's right. <laughs> Perfect That's timing. Right. So if somebody wanted to know some of that information, would it be best to go to the Historical Society, or can they call you? <laughs> um, usually what we suggest is that they call the town. Okay. And then the town will 
send their so, information no. to one of us so that okay. you know our personal information isn't all out there. Yeah, no. and the uh, or they can go to the historical society, mm-hmm. but their hours are kind yeah. of yeah flexible. Has there been anything really interesting that you have found over the years, like discoveries that you've oh, made? There's so many. Well, we've got time. So many. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the one that just comes off of the top of my head. There was um, uh, Brown's Excavating. Go, mm-hmm. You go down North Street. Right. Down there. We, we got a call, and they said... Um, we have a headstone here, and uh, it's been here for years <laughs> and years. And finally, somebody said, well, you know, maybe we should do something about that. So uh, I think they called the Historical Society, and they put us on to us. So uh, we tried to find this person's name. Mm-hmm. I think it was Littlefield. Let's say it was Abby Littlefield, okay? Close enough. And so we looked in all our records, couldn't find an Abbey Littlefield. So we actually checked with different towns to see if there was an Abbey Littlefield. Mm-hmm. Well, there was an Abbey Littlefield in the Kennebunk Cemetery, but the dates were wrong. Okay. So, you know, so basically we said, you know, we, we really don't know. Mm-hmm. And, and then it was like, well, then what do they do with the stone? And the, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you want to keep it, you know, <laughs> or, or we just really weren't sure. And so we, we suggested maybe the uh, historical society should keep it. Mm-hmm. Well, somebody who worked at the historical society, their sister did more research on this, found out, let's see if I get this straight. So there was this fellow whose sister was named Abby mm-hmm. Littlefield, and she had died, and that's the one that was in Kenny Bunk. Oh wow! Well, subsequently, he had a baby named her Abby. Oh geez! And it turns out those that's states the... went along oh. with this one, so it was kind of a mystery solved. Oh my gosh, yeah. But And it was like so exciting that yep. they actually were able to find that's, that information. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So is, this, is the stone still there, or they moved it? I think it's at the Historical yeah. Society. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I love that kind of stuff where you can put those pieces of the puzzle together. Yes, yes. So... And um, and other things that you like to do. So you've got a day off, and I mean, I know you're always busy, but what what kinds of things do you like to do when you're you're not throwing your pottery or <laughs> helping out here at the yeah. Graves Library? Well, it's just you know a little of this, a little of that. Yeah, I like to read, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I volunteer a little bit with community outreach. Yeah, what do you do um, for them? Well, well, I'm the bag lady. Oh, the bag lady. (laughs) So, well, on Monday mornings, um, previously people have called up and put in their orders, these people that cannot come to COS. And so, so then on Monday, there are a number of other volunteers who will say, get John Smith's order. And they will go around and shop. And I do the bagging. Mm-hmm. I worked for the A&P when I was yeah. in high school. I know how to bag. <laughs> so, so I do the bagging. And it, which, it, with all the players involved, sometimes it gets a little confusing. Yeah. But basically, that's what I do that's for them. That's great. Yes. And that service is, like, how many families are... I don't I know. Mean, it's a, that's but a, it's, it's a big number. It's Un- wonderful. Unfortunately, but fortunately for this area, I mean, I think that's such a wonderful organization. And I just see them doing so many good things. Yes. Um, yes. I think they have a program that deals with, you know, like getting gas to people yep, and stuff yep, like that. Fuel. Yeah. Fuel assistance. Like yep. all those things. Yep. And um, I've seen... Um, I've been to a few of their, um, they used to have a, 
on like an upscale boutique. And um, I think um, one of the car dealerships up on Route 1, Weirs or one of the, you know, sponsored it. Mm -hmm. So people would bring in their clothes, um, bags, you know, shoes, all kinds of different things that was like really, you know, gently used or really nice things that you didn't need anymore. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, you went to this event and um, you shopped. And so it was, it was really kind of a fun event. So they, they're very creative when it comes to those kinds of, um, that, you know, they, they did that outdoor dinner um, farm to table oh, thing. Oh, yeah, and yeah. So, um, but it's just such a, and it's such a needed, unfortunately, you know, needed um, resource in town, but boy, lucky. Um, and it's Arundel and Kennebunk and Kennebunkport, or is it even more than that? Do you know? I, I know there's somebody in Wells they deliver yeah, to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. so it's a big, it's a big area. Yes. So, so you mentioned the A and P in high school. Um, what was what was it like growing up in New Jersey? Was Just it suburban? Yeah, suburban living. Yeah, siblings. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I had five siblings. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so. So, what was that yeah. like in your household? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was it was almost like two families because. I had my sister and brother, and then my mother died, and then eventually my father remarried, mm -hmm. and they had three other kids. So it was yeah. kind of like we were the big kids, and then there were the little kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's nice because my sister and brother both live in Vermont, and mm -hmm. I live here, so I can go over there when I want mountains, oh. and they can come here when. Oh, that's a nice. That's a that's a nice uh, uh, exchange. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I've never been to Vermont. I I find a lot more about <gasps> myself on these on these episodes because of like never done that, never done that, never been there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I keep hearing, you know, for many people it's beautiful there. So well, there's so many places in Maine. Oh, I know. Just yeah. to uh, yeah. check out. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So um uh usually when we start closing up our interview we like to ask some rapid fire questions so you game for that sure okay <laughs> so we like to know um do you have a favorite flavor of ice cream big daddy's cherry chocolate oh, chip oh big daddy's with hot fudge cheese. oh the best hot fudge. <laughs> <laughs> um do you have a favorite movie uh no no not particularly favorite book this week, I like I like <laughs> Anne Cleves. Oh, okay, she's yeah, she does yeah, good work. Um, is there a favorite? Oh, wait a second. Oh, somebody no, else. I take that back. <laughs> My favorite book is Fairhaven Forsaken by Susan Fernandez. Oh <laughs> yes, which is a young adult book, but grown-ups enjoy it also. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yes. Um, good plug. Yeah. Good plug. And how would one go about ordering a copy yeah. of that? Oh, it's it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Yes. Okay. Is she writing another? She's she, writing? she came out with a second, second one. Second book. Yep. Uh, Fairhaven Forsaken and Fairhaven something. I forget the name of the second. One. Yeah, it's um it's kind of fun though. To, do you get to preview oh. chapters? Uh, she will send it out. Oh, nice! To the family yep. before. Yeah. And um, and she dedicated the second one to me. So. That oh. Was, that was. That's just, awesome. I mean, what more can I offer? That's ask? awesome. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite restaurant that you like to go to? Can I mention a couple? You can mention I as mean, many as you want. <laughs> look where we live. I know this is. Oh true. my lord! Yeah. Okay, so just in the immediate area, hurricanes. Mm-hmm. Um, Shea Rosa, 50 Local, mm -hmm. up in Kenny Bunk. Yep. Mike's. Oh, yeah. So just yeah. to name a few. Yeah, that's The other good. ones are all good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> um, the, uh, it's, it's, and it's amazing that they've been, you know, some of these places, they've been able to stay strong and yes. they do good work. Yes. And, um, and, and the town has been accommodating right. through COVID to help them do yep. that, which yep. is wonderful. Yeah, I agree. Um, what about um, 
like one of the coolest places that you've ever been. Um, doesn't, mm. you know, not temperature wise, but like, can you think of somewhere that, you know, when you got there, you said, wow, this is besides Kenny Bump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Maine has so many wonderful places. You know, we do go like going to Martha's Vineyard. Mm-hmm. Just, I think any place my kids are, that's okay. where I like going. That's a great, yeah. that's a great answer. Yeah. Cause there's just so many wonderful places. Yeah. And you guys, there. you guys have a lot of fun times together when you you're, do. um, I've heard about some wiffle ball games and things like that. Mm -hmm. and like <laughs> yep. Yep. So, um, and if a family, um, happened to come into the library and they were picking your brain about something to do while they were here, um, what would you advise them to do? Well, conservation trust trails. Okay. That's a big, mm -hmm. uh, uh, there are so many trails around, conservation trust trails around that different ages and abilities can access. It's just, it's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. um, Besides the ocean, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, yeah, just just being outdoors here, yeah, is is wonderful. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And and if it's not a nice day, you come to Graves Library. That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I first moved here, when we lived on North Street, um, my neighbor actually volunteered here, but I just had one little kid, and I thought, oh well little library you know so mm -hmm. i'll go up to kenny bunk library which mm -hmm. i did mm -hmm. and that's a very big impressive building there and my neighbor said oh oh you should go to graves they they can get you anything you want at graves <laughs> and so i did and that started my love affair with graves library was the story hour so that was a long time ago that was a long time ago and yes. you've been on our board You've been on our yes. library board. Yeah. I think maybe when I started working here, I, you might have been on the board. Could uh, be. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So you were part of the the cookbook. You know, were you were you part of all of that fundraising back in? Well, not that as much for the library. I did the cookbook for at Consolidated School oh, okay. to raise money at Consolidated School. So yeah. I know that whole process. That's probably yeah. why I said no to help. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they both, they're wonderful couples. Yeah. You get yeah. the best. Yeah. Yeah. I look through that every once in a great while just to get a laugh because it's not just a cookbook, but there's some really fun little anecdotes of like Frank Hanlon, you know, go, one of his recipes is go get a cow and then, yeah. you know, it's like, it's <laughs> yeah. just, a, anyway, some yeah. of those are really funny. Yeah. But. And, and you have recipes from the restaurants in there. The restaurants. And stuff. The and some of the B&Bs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Bush, um, yeah. her baked bean recipe. Oh, okay. Open a can. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> it's a little bit more than that, oh. but it's kind of funny how she, you know, oh. that was, that's her, that was her humor though. So... Um, um, but let me just say something else about places to see and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people are aware of the history of the library and just the, the pieces in the library, the, the paintings in mm -hmm. the library by Abbott Graves. I know. A pretty famous mm -hmm. Louis Norton upstairs. Yeah. Um, What's the other one I was thinking of? Uh, Tom Gable. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 there is just some wonderful art yeah. in here. And we do forget that we're, we are a sort of a mini museum. Yes. And um, we're very lucky to have, you know, the artwork hanging that we do. I mean, I get to come in every day and look at this beautiful stuff. Um, Joy Biddle. Um, there's a, oh, there was yes. a painting that was here it's before here. we traded yes. it out and put it elsewhere. But that yes. was one of the marshes, and because it was right here, anytime I was sitting in this room, I felt like I could just walk right into it. Yeah. You could even smell the salt, smell the salt air, the marsh. 
Yeah. So. Well, I would sit here for book talks mm-hmm. when there would be book talks. Yeah. And if it was getting a little long, I would just be <laughs> studying that picture and like, wow, the, look at all the, pri- the grass of bla- grass. Exactly. That, that must have just taken forever. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. But very impressive. She was a character. But um, yeah, so there, there are some pretty... Um, Who's the other gentleman? Fisher? William Fisher. We've got a few of his things in the hallway hmm. heading down to the book sale. So, and, and just the fact that you're every once in a while you trade out some of the newer pictures, mm-hmm. that's yeah, very nice. Yeah. Nice asset because we are such an arty community. Right, too. right, yeah. right. So, well, we appreciate all the work that you've done for many years here mm-hmm. at the Graves Library it's and been just my pleasure. your your you know your overall devotion to this community Ruth. It's 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 pretty amazing. So well not I've, to mention your most one of the most wonderful people I've ever known. No. So <laughs> anyway. Ditto. Get back at you. <laughs> <laughs> so but thank you so much for sitting down with us and being well, on you. our show tonight. Yes. And you. um you know um we hope that you're gonna hang around for for a long time here. I so. hope so too. Yes. So, <laughs> and thank you all for tuning in tonight. And um, we hope to see you back here next time on What's Your Story?